Hi again everyone, my name is Derek Drover and welcome to another edition of Five for the Good Fight. Today we're going to be looking at the I Am Statements of Jesus. Let's begin in John 6, 35. I am the bread of life. Many people today are hungry, they're searching, they're looking for something, looking to fill a void in their life that can only be filled by the bread of life. He goes on to say, he that comes to me will never hunger again. So whatever it is you're looking for today, whatever it is that you've been trying to fill that void inside with, it's never going to work unless it is the bread of life, unless it is Jesus Christ. John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. And as Christian people, we now carry that light in the world that we live in. Jesus is the light of the world. He now lives in us. And so we carry the light of who he is to the world we live in. We shine the light in darkness. The greater the darkness, the greater the light that can shine through. So we have purpose. We have a goal every day to get up, to say, today is a new day that I get to shine the light of who Christ is in the world that I live in. John 10, 7. I am the door of the sheep. I really like this one. The shepherd literally used to lay down like a door in front of the door, in front of the gate of where the sheep would be sleeping and the sheep would be in their pen. I think you'd call it a pen. And um, he would literally put his body in front of the door so that if anything were to try to come to the sheep to harm them, they would have to get through the shepherd first. He is the door of the sheep. He's our protector. He is, as our next one says in John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The shepherd literally, as I said, lays down his life to protect the sheep. Jesus is the good shepherd. We know that. He laid down his life for us to give us life, to protect us. He is the good shepherd. John eleven twenty five, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes on me, though he die, yet shall he live. So though we die here in this world, we live forever. We live in eternity with him. Now everyone is going to live for eternity. It just depends on where. But us as Christian people that have accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior, our home is in heaven. Our home is with the Father because we've accepted what Christ has done for us by laying down his life as the Good Shepherd. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but by Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. There's no other way to heaven. There's no other way to the Father but through Christ the Son. John 15, 1, I am the true vine. He is the vine. We are the branches. So we are the fruit-bearing part of who Christ is in the world. We show the world who he is, and we show the world what he can do in and through us by bearing that good fruit. He's the vine, he's the source, he is the life, and we are the branch of that vine. And finally, Revelation 1.8. I am Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the ending. God is still in control. He is still on the throne. I want to remind everyone watching this today that God was, He is, He always will be. Alpha and Omega. Beginning and ending. You know, what's amazing about this is in the world that we live in, and certainly even back when Jesus was on the earth, making statements like this is frowned upon. Absolute truths. Statements, um, you know, that are so bold. But Jesus was not ashamed of who he was. He was not shy about saying, this is who I am. He didn't hold back. He wasn't bashful about it to make statements such as, 
I'm the bread of life. I'm the light of the world. I'm the door of the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, the life. I am the true vine. I am alpha and omega, beginning and ending. Wow. Can you imagine what would be all over social media and all over the news if somebody was making those kind of statements today? But we know there is only one who truly can make it, and it's Jesus Christ, who's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But he was not ashamed to say, this is who I am. And what I want to leave you with today and, and me is neither should we be ashamed to say, this is who I am. I am a Christian. I carry the light of the world inside of me. I am a branch of the true vine. I bear the fruit of who Christ is in the world. And so Jesus was not ashamed. He didn't hold back. He proclaimed who he was. And so let us also do the same as Christian people. Let's show the world the love that the Father had for the world that he gave his Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And now we carry that message. We carry that light. We carry that fruit of who he is in the world. Let's show the world the goodness of our God, how much he loves them, how much he cares, and show them who Christ is in us. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep fighting the good fight.